Okay, so today is our one year wedding anniversary and we are going to eat cake and a lot of it. So we did not get um, a wedding cake in Hawaii because it would have melted and it was just us and we eloped and then started our honeymoon. So today we eat cake. So for breakfast, I made three eggs with uh, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, a little drizzle of serrano pepper sauce. Um, I think that's, oh, and paprika. And yeah, I just used the spray oil. And this is a very thin brown rice cake with um, this oatly cream cheese, um, dairy-free, and some capers, and dill weed, and salt, and toasted sesame seeds, because I'm gonna have a lot of carbs and fat later. And here is my coffee. Okay, so here is our anniversary cake. It is nothing like what I ordered or wanted. Um, so yeah, I'll put a picture of what I really wanted. Uh, I didn't want any of this to look like a little child's birthday cake, but it's okay. I got the purple grapes and it'll be a cake. It'll be delicious because I haven't had cake in a really long time that's gluten free. So it's like $89 for this, but um, yeah, you know, you don't always get what you want, but the point is to celebrate that we were together for a year married and yeah, I'm just thankful that we've had a blessed first year of marriage. So this is our candle that our mother, well his mother, my mother-in-law got us. It's one through 25 years. And Lisa and James. And Lisa and James. We've got my non-alcoholic rosé and his champagne. And you can you notice see it goes to 25. Yeah. And so today, October 25th, it's our one year. We're going to light our candle. There we go. And you just let we it burn. It. Happy one year anniversary. Been looking forward to this all year. Yeah. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Mm. Okay, so this morning I woke up really late and I wanted to have something quick and healthy. Yesterday I had a lot of cake and steak, um, but that doesn't matter. You still need to eat breakfast and eat healthy. So I'm going to do like a protein shake coffee situation. So this is what I usually make whenever I'm in a hurry and I'm starving. So I've got just almond milk and um, chocolate protein powder. It's about 20 grams of plant-based protein. This is my little jar. I usually put broccoli sprouts in, which I love, um, but it's clean. And then I have my little, um, it's a big straw. And then if you don't want like caramel, you could always do just vanilla and then do the cinnamon or pumpkin spice and make it kind of like a fall flavor. But I feel like just doing like a caramel chocolate situation. And then I've got the coffee because I need to wake up and then unsweetened almond milk because I don't really taste the sweetener in normal almond milk so I'd rather just get unsweetened and not have the extra sugars but save them for this yumminess here. So yeah, not sponsored but just wanted to show you a quick easy breakfast and then um, before I have breakfast I may have a sip of this apple cider vinegar and some of this seltzer water. This one's blackberry citrus. And I just put a little bit of this, like maybe a teaspoon or something, and sip on it. And it's kind of reminding me of like the kombucha drinks. And you could also put um, cayenne in there. Um, you could put a little maple syrup, whatever you want, to make your own kind of, um, in quotes, detox drink. I don't think you need to help your body along to detox. It has a liver and its own systems to do that. But... Sometimes I just like something different than just plain seltzer water, so I'm going to do that and see if that's any good. So that's my quick and easy, healthy, high-protein smoothie breakfast. Okay, so here's kind of a healthy version of some nachos that we get at a place near our house. And I just used a rotisserie turkey breast and then some corn tortilla chips, a fourth a cup of shredded cheese. You can get low fat or fat free, whatever you want. 
Um, you just microwave it for like a minute um, to get it to melt. Mine was frozen cheese. It might only take 30 seconds if it's not frozen. And then I was gonna put some of these bell peppers over the top. I don't really do a lot of onions because they mess up my stomach. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get them on there and you can spread it around later. And then this is actually for my husband and he loves jalapenos. I'm just putting some everywhere. He literally can eat a ton of jalapenos and it does not bother him. So you get the gist of that. And then I may just kind of make it look a little bit prettier. He is at the gym. And you get the idea. It'll be fine. I make it look prettier with the um, sugar-free Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Uh, or no sugar added, I should say. And I just kind of do this like sort of zigzaggy. Well, of course it's not gonna work out now. Because I'm filming, of course. But there you go. So that's kind of some healthy-ish nachos if you're just kind of wanting something that's not takeout, that's not like $20 for a little plate of nachos. So that is rotisserie turkey. You could do chicken, barbecue, nachos. Okay, so this is how I make tofu not taste like tofu. I do it different ways, different um, cuts. This is like slices or like fillets. And I do it with Montreal steak or chicken seasoning and salt and bread it. And this is not breaded, but it's crispy because I put it in the air fryer, which is going with another batch right now. And you can just put anything you want on this, like sriracha or barbecue, barbecue sauce or whatever, and it makes it where it's whatever flavor you want it to be in whatever dish. So this is actually not breaded, and it came out kind of crispy on the outside, but I bet if I store it away after it's cooled down, I will need to put paper towels in there to keep it completely crispy. And then over here I have my dirty stove, but I did um, scrambled tofu, kind of like scrambled egg whites with just paprika and salt. So I'll see what that's like. But so far, my absolute favorite is this one right here, which is Montreal chicken with salt and then sriracha on it. That's the best. Okay, so here's the last batch and they are super crispy. I used gluten-free breadcrumbs, which you can see right here. But yeah, they're really crispy and yummy and I'm gonna do barbecue sauce with these so that it's kind of like chicken nuggets. And that's just a good way to get some plant-based protein in without doing meat, although I do eat meat. So there are those. And I was right, I did need to do some of this um, a paper towels so that they would like, you know, not get too um, moist in there and they'll stay dry and crispy. So that is how you make tofu not taste gross. Okay, so it's finally cold here in um, Arkansas. So I decided to do a little soup and it looks like a big old mess right now, but I just dumped everything in there. And it's got cannellini beans, bone broth, corn, green beans, tomatoes, potatoes, um, cooked ground turkey, cabbage, just everything I could think of to throw in here. And the spices that I use really help to make everything better. So instead of tasting bland, like some people don't like beef and veggie soup because they don't spice it up. So I do um, chili powder, I do the red pepper or cayenne, um, paprika, a little bit of cumin. You can do parsley or cilantro, salt and pepper. Um, I should have done pink Himalayan, but I did um, iodized. And then I did a little bit of turmeric and you could do curry powder if you wanted. Um, or if you want minestrone or minestrone, you could do like Italian and oregano and do a little pasta or something instead of so many veggies. But I just really wanted a ton of veggies. So that's what I did here. And that is a little veggie and beef or turkey soup. And then I'll put probably like tortilla chips or crackers and some Louisiana hot sauce in there.